Hello everyone and thank you for joining this video where we're going to be taking a look at the new Alta Buckle Pipeline Inspection Truck. So follow along as I show you some of the features and capabilities. So pretty much the cab of the truck is the standard buckle stampede heavy duty truck it's a four door cab with five seats now one difference you will note is that there is an equipment cache here with a bunch of first aid kits and some repair equipment obviously we have the quad steer that makes maneuvering in tight locations easy as well as all the usual buckle stampede things but the difference is in the rear now in the rear we have this kind of container unit and there's a control panel back here which I'm going to explain in a second and there's these hose pipe fit or pipe fittings or rather now the interior and the cab of the truck is the standard buckle stampede truck it's four door five passenger now one of the key differences is there is kind of an equipment door here with some equipment that you'll find useful Obviously, the truck has quad steer, which turns all the wheels, the button to open the Alta gates if you're nearby them, and all that other good stuff. However, the back is where the difference really begins. So there is this tank on the back. If you come here, we'll find that there's oil. There's oil already coming with the truck. There's jet fuel and diesel and then you could pump it out as well as you could pump in oil jet and diesel in these upper fittings there's the console light if you're in the dark now what this does is that it combines the upper tank which is currently empty that's where we're going to be pumping in things with the bottom tank which already contains the jet oil and diesel so that's useful if you've added something to the system, you could now pump him out and kind of make it into one system. Now, one of the late additions that I made yesterday to this creation is the addition of this. What it is, is a filter to pump out the contaminated or separate, sorry, the contaminated fuel and you end up with waste. So there's a pump and we'll show you how that works in a second. So we're gonna hop into the workshop and I'll explain how that all works. So here we have the truck. And if we just go beneath this, you're gonna see that there's a series of the filters that are gonna filter the different types of fluids. And there is kind of a purge or surge tank that contains the contaminated stuff, which is gonna be something like slurry, water, anything that's not one of these three products is our waste if it's pre-mixed so what we're going to do is the following so i've spawned two tanks here one is where we're going to put the contaminated waste and in the other one we're going to give ourselves kind of a sequence of weird stuff that we want to filter out so let's add a couple of these so we'll put some diesel in here we'll put some let's go with seawater so say it's mixed, we'll even throw in some jet fuel for good measure. We don't need that last one. So now we have a couple things, diesel, seawater, and jet fuel. And the other one is fully empty. I've removed all the pumps. So it's just a simple tank, no pumping function. Now if I spawn it in, we come here, we could see here, we got ourselves the diesel jet, seawater. Now I'm presuming that the stuff is mixing and producing oil. Otherwise this is a glitch, but regardless, you could see that there is different stuff in here. In here, it's fully empty, so zero. Now, what we can easily do with this filtration system is we plug this, that's contaminated fuel in, here. Now you don't have to do anything else except for pressing the button. Now the only downside is this waste tank is gonna fill to its capacity, which is not very much. So it's good for filtering small things if you don't have 
a, a surge tank with you. So here we have it. And if we take a look down here, just kind of look at this, we could see we're getting diesel in this one and we're getting jet fuel in this one. And even we're getting that oil that was kind of going through the system. Now, if we take the second hose, because as we can see, this tank is full. But now if we plug it into here, we see that we're getting fluid tra coming into here and it's our seawater. And if we jump back up here, this tank is going down, which is fine for us. This is still coming in. If we jump down here, we'll see we're increasing in jet, we're increasing in diesel, oil, and it's all being separated. Obviously this number is going down we're almost out of jet fuel, as you can see here. So that's a simple demonstration of the filtering system on this truck. Now that is useful, particularly for our oil pipeline. If ever you accidentally plug the diesel into the jet fuel, for example, and you end up pumping into the tank, it's not going to work. So in your pipeline access building, you can actually hand pump this out and then using this truck, you can separate everything and end up with a working pipeline. These guys are pretty self-explanatory. You have in up here, out here. You have to turn on these buttons to pump in or out. Otherwise, these ones will not work. So it has pumps built into the system. And there you have it. So hopefully that helped explain this truck a little bit in the latest update. And I assume or I hope it's going to be very useful to you for any kind of filtering creations, plus the added benefit of we'll see what happens on Friday when they release the update for the oil spill. This may help us by separating these different types of oils. And if not, I'm going to make a new truck that helps us with that process. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more and happy stormworksing.